as we, uh, the professor found out, what happens is early voting actually seems to have a marginal impact on turnout. In fact, it might actually suppress turnout because... Really? Well, yeah, because here's the situation. You've got a period of 17 days or 10 days in which you can vote or you can vote on election day. Well, early voting typically captures people who are going to vote anyway. If They're you, motivated. They're excited. Exactly. First opportunity, they go. But if you have only one opportunity to vote, and that's on election day, there does seem to be a peer pressure element involved in uh -huh. which all you're hearing from your neighbors, from your colleagues at work, from people on newscasts and all that is that make sure you vote. Go to the polls on election day. And so you have people who are marginal voters who might otherwise not vote at all who will show up at the polls if they have only one opportunity. But those same folks might decide if they have 10 or 15 or 17 days to vote that they're not going to go because they say, well, I'll get around to it at some point, and then they forget or they just decide it's not that important to them. So, Rick, what should the average North Carolinian conclude from the professor's research and also from reading Barry Smith's story at carolinajournal.com? What, sh what should you take away about the election reform? Uh, the election reforms are probably not going to have much effect on turnout at all. In fact, what Professor Kroll said using the presidential races of the last two times as an example, the candidate matters very much. The candidate's organization matters a lot. The, the stakes of the election are not determined by voting laws.